Armed with only $200 and a video camera, he bought at Best Buy. Our first guest and his friends shot a couple of unsolicited pilots for a show that this year celebrates its 15th season. You can see new episodes of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Wednesdays on FXX. Please welcome Rob McElhenney. <laughs> Is this uh, an injury yeah. or an affectation? No, that is a that is a, that is a very serious injury. That's oh. it's not as bad as it looks. It's it it's looks mild pretty bad. To, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's mild to severe tissue damage and and a, and a few torn ligaments. How did this happen to you? Well, um, I want to start by saying men are morons, <laughs> and I I want to be clear that I, I don't want to be exclusive. I know that there are uh, morons of every gender. True. Um, but I am a man, and mm -hmm. I'm a moron. Okay. So uh, it was the uh, holiday weekend, Thanksgiving. It was a Saturday morning, very early morning. And I fell down a step, one step. I rolled my ankle and I, I, I felt pain like I had never felt before. And I collapsed onto the ground and I was dry heaving because I was like, I was like almost like about ready to throw up. But I was also laughing because it was really funny. Really? <laughs> yes, but after about 15 minutes, no, no one else was awake in the house. So I was trying to like hold down uh, my screams <laughs> and also my vomit. And eventually, about 15 minutes later, I got up and I was like, all good, I can put a little weight on it, I'm gonna shake it off. Uh huh. <laughs> it turns out you can't shake off mild to severe tissue damage and torn ligaments. What? No, no but I tried. Uh, <laughs> and I, I <laughs> talked to my wife, Caitlin. Olson. And what did she recommend? She said, yep, yep. She said, you have to go to the hospital. Right. And I was like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake it off. And I talked to my, my mother-in-law, um, who was a retired ER nurse, and she said, you have to go to the hospital. And I was like, no, I'm gonna shake it off. <laughs> so I called my dad. Wanna take a guess what my dad says? Um, I, you shake it off. No, shake it off. Yeah, so rub a little dirt on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So I, I shake it off, uh -huh. you know? And I go to bed that night, and I wake up the next morning, and my foot looks like a, like a ham, like a Christmas ham. And I turned to Caitlin, and I said, I think I have to go to the hospital. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. So we go, I go to the hospital, and my whole thought was like, oh, the hospital's busy. It's going to be packed. I don't want to bother them. <laughs> I get there, and it's empty. Sunday morning, the ER is empty. This is in the middle of Los Angeles. And I'm like, it's a holiday weekend. Is it always this empty? And the nurse said, don't worry, no. It'll be packed. It'll be packed this afternoon and tonight. Really? And I was like, why? Why is like, does the like, crazy things happen on Sundays of holiday weekends? Do people do crazy things on Sundays? And she said, no. They do them on Friday and Saturday and Saturday night. And then they shake it off <laughs> for a day. And then they come into the hospital. And an hour later, it'll be packed. How much so. longer are you going to have to have that thing on? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But, well, you know, it's not that bad. I get to move around. It's, they could make those better looking, those boots, right? They know, it's like they're trying to humiliate you on top of you being injured. I know, well, I think they're going for the science. I see. Before they're going for the aesthetic. And yeah. I will say that, I will say that it actually is fairly comfortable. Oh, well, yeah, it better be, because it doesn't look good. No, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, I was just talking about this, and it's really amazing, because I remember when I started watching this show with my son, who is now a fully grown adult, 15 seasons of It's Always Sunny in, in Philadelphia is the longest running live action sitcom of, of all time on television. You beat Ozzie and Harriet, yeah. which was in black and white. That's how long ago Ozzie and Harriet. Was that always your intention to beat Ozzie and Harriet? Oh, yeah, that's what we're really going for. <laughs> I really wanted to. You targeted them? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, we just, honestly, we just, we love the show and we want to keep making it and they keep paying for it. <laughs> and, and for some reason, people keep watching it, so we keep making it. And you guys have never had that situation where you're like, I'm sick of you. In fact, you guys are doing a podcast together now, you and Oh, yeah. And yeah, and then, whose idea was that to do? We had been talking about it for a few years, but we were like, ah, you know, I mean, maybe we just do it for promotion for the show. Uh -huh. It'd be great to keep the word out there, and this would be our 15th season. So we did this podcast, and 
we just thought we'd put it out there and a few people would listen to it and it would be a good way to, to promote Sunny. And, and it's super popular. I think it's, oh, we have that uh, chart there. It's the number yeah. two podcast in the United States of America. Yeah. It's just under um, Joe, the Joe Rogan experience and then a lot of murder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you get... like Rogan, Sonny, and murder, apparently. Yeah. And we're neck and neck with Joe Rogan, which is... That's, that's quite an accomplishment, Do you considering give how COVID thick his neck is. advice? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. you guys talk Sorry. about... This show is primarily for people who are fans of the show, and you talk about things that, um, that maybe we didn't know, like, well, like that story about the video camera, yeah. and about... Um, uh, oh, Danny DeVito wasn't necessarily your first thought as far as uh no 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 we didn't want to add danny well we didn't want to add another character to the to the show uh -huh. and then we got a call from john langraff who's the uh the chairman of the studio who said um well we need to add another character to the show someone with some cachet and we were like well we don't really want to do that and he was like well then i don't really want to pick up your tv show and we were like well, get us a star. <laughs> get us Danny DeVito. And little did Danny know, he probably thought he was doing a guest spot for some, some young clowns, Absolutely. right? Yes, yes. In fact, he had built into his contract that he would only work for 10 days out of the entire season. The first, the, <laughs> for the and year. we were like, okay, I guess we can figure this out. And he only did that to protect himself against us being clowns. Um, and I think by like the fourth day, he was like, well, these guys are clowns, but like, the good kind of clown. Yeah, we'll raise it to yeah, 11. We'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here we are, 15 seasons and, later, and, and the show's just like uh, picked up through 18 seasons, right? Yeah, eight, yes, 18 seasons. <laughs> really. really yeah. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. Um, and we're going to see a scene from the new season. Rob McElhenney is with us from oh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're right back. Hey, Mom. Um, so, anyway, um, we were in Ireland, and I was looking for Dad's house, but the address that you gave me was wrong, and, like, I kind of can't find the Luther McDonald's anywhere. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Uh, do you have any information on Dad or our heritage? No. What do you mean, no? You're not Irish. I'm not Irish? Yeah. Are you joking? Nope. My last name is McDonald. No. Are you telling me that Dad changed his last name? Yep. What's Dad's last name? Vandros. Dad's name is Luther Vandros. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, from the new season, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> Rob McElhenney is here with us. That kind of happened to my wife, by the way. She thought she was so Irish, and then we found out she was mostly German. Yeah. And she was not happy. You guys, um, in the episode where you go to Ireland, did you go to Ireland? We wanted to go to Ireland. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if you were, if you've been paying attention, but there's been this pandemic. I don't know Have anything about, about this that. Disease? No. Yeah. And uh, we were unable to. We had written the entire half of the season where we were going to go, and we thought we were going to hit the right month. It turned out we hit the wrong month, and it was just impossible to do it. So we had to recreate Ireland in. Southern California. <laughs> but then again, we are recreating the city of Philadelphia in Southern California. That's true. You that. can do that. But it is funny, to, like this idea, like, hey, why don't we go on a vacation finally yes. and then do the show there, and then you're just here yes. again. Yeah. It's probably good for our livers. Um, probably, I think yeah. we probably would have spent a lot of time at the pubs. Have you been, now uh, you, most people I think know this about you, that you now co-own a soccer team with Ryan Reynolds, or a football team, as they say. <laughs> Or a football club, as they say, in Wales. Have you been over there to see the team and address the team? We have. You have. Yeah. We How have. did that go? It was incredible. Was it? Yeah. It was absolutely incredible. Yeah. I mean, the way that the town and the team um, ha have embraced us, and the way that uh, I mean, it's just a it's a religious experience. You know, when when you go and you walk into this into this field that's been there since 1802, it was originally built, and, wow. and they've been playing football there since 1864. So um, these organizations are older than anything we have, uh, any professional sports that we have in this country. And, and did you, how is the team doing? Are they doing better since you took over? Well, I would, we're doing better, yes. We're hoping, we're hoping to be a little bit better than where we are right now. We're currently fourth in the table, but we're about halfway through the season. So we're, we're thinking, you know, we're going to make a, a big run in the second half of the season. Okay, and if not, you fire everybody, right? Do you go over there and do the firings yourself? No. You will not. Ryan wanna, will I, do that? I don't want to get stabbed. Okay, all right. <laughs> so I have Ryan take care of all the firing. 
<laughs> I do all the hiring, and it works out really well. I think that's a, a smart way to go. Yeah. You still uh, you still love the Eagles, or no? Now that of you've you're course. involved, you still all good with American football? Yes. Go Birds! I thought this is kind of fun because you posted this as a backup quarterback uh, for the Eagles, uh, um, who a lot of people notice looks like you. Yes. I get that quite a bit. That um, I, I would say he does look like me, and I said to Caitlin, um, you know, we could be brothers. He really, we really do look alike. And she said, um, he's a 21, 22-year-old football player. He could be your son. <laughs> and I... I, don't, I took umbrage with that. I feel like I'm in the zone. I love that you're injured and he's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to be careful on those steps. Yes, he actually stepped in for an injured uh, player, Jalen Hurts, and he had a huge game. And he's that. fine, yeah. 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 yeah, he's just fine. Well, it's great to see you. Great the to new see season you. of the show, It's Only Sunny in Philadelphia, Wednesday nights, 10 o'clock on FXX, and the next day on FX on Hulu. Rob McElhenney, everybody, will be back with Ariana DeBose. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button, so please click now. I'm hungry.